Are you awake yet? Whoa. Um, well, I better be because I'm posting recipes and you don't want to do that asleep because you could put together like, I don't know, hot chocolate and sardines. They don't go together. I can't believe we're doing this though. Why? Because this is very like impulsive. I feel like, I don't know, there's laundry to do. There's stuff to do, like household things. And we're just leaving. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm super proud of you. Really? Yeah. Because I just got up and went. Yeah, because it is 6.10, we are dressed, we are on our way out the door, and I woke Rachel up at 5 a.m. and said, we're going to Universal! Actually, you woke me up at 4.45 a.m. Okay. But it was okay because I have been disciplined throughout this month to get up around this time, so yeah. This just feels like any other day. Yeah, so we're gonna head out to Universal Studios because we can. Yeah. And because lacrosse season's about to start and we wanna cherish these moments that we have together right now where we can spend a bunch of time together. And I think that's really important. Like, you have to take some me time. And we've kind of adopted the philosophy of when we work, we work. And when we play, we play. We play. So no regrets. I just thought of a major problem with this drive. Okay, what is that? Okay, so this is the first time in six months or whatever that we are doing this like two, three, four hour drive and we're not towing the camper behind us. We are light. We're, I mean, we're in a car. No, you're missing my point. What? I'm going to actually have to stop and go inside the gas stations and inside of the, the rest areas to go to the bathroom. Oh, I didn't even think about I that. I can't make a three hour drive without going to the bathroom. I'm old. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm used to towing Eleanor behind us and I just pull over and go use her bathroom. Well, I'm still going to have to stop for coffee, so <laughs> sorry. You're already on your first cup. I am. I have had two cups of coffee that look like this. That's a lot of coffee. It's a lot of coffee, but not a lot for In Rachel. two hours, that's a lot of coffee. That's a lot of coffee. But I've had Wawa and I've had Pilot, and let me tell you, Wawa, once again, kicks Pilot's butt. What is your favorite brand coffee when you're like not at home? Like when you're out on the road and you have to get coffee, what's your favorite? I'm gonna be honest, it's Wawa. Really? It's a gas station coffee, and let me tell you, I think it is the best. It kicks Dunkin' Donuts butt, it kicks Starbucks butt, especially when they have like their limited edition ones. Every season, they have a different, you know, flavor that's out, like pumpkin for the holidays or, you know, Thanksgiving. And they have a Christmas blend that they must have bought like way too much of because they're still serving it at some of the Wawa's, and it's good. I, that really surprised me because I know Dunkin' Donuts used to be your thing. I mean, that's actually why we bought a Keurig because we were spending like $3 a cup on like coffee for you to go to Dunkin' Donuts. So let us know down in the comment section, what is your, if you're a coffee drinker, obviously, what is your favorite place to go for coffee when you're on the road? Not I at like home, like, you know, I'm not talking about like, what do you like to make at home, like Bones or something like that, but right. when you're out on the road, is it Starbucks, is it Dunkin' Donuts, is it is it McDonald's, right? I'm I, curious what everybody's favorite coffee is. I wish Wawa had a drive through because you have to get out <laughs> out of the car to get it. That's a good thing though. Yeah. Okay, so I was thinking we're on our way to Universal Studios. We're, I don't know, about 20 minutes away at this point. Yay! And I've got a topic for today's vlog and it's gonna involve you guys. All right. So we're, we're almost into February. Some people just started on keto. There's other people that are kind of starting to see stuff because it's all over the internet and all over YouTube because it's the beginning of the year of resolution. Right. And you're starting to hear a lot of why either you shouldn't do keto. Yes. Like, it's going to kill you. Right. Or you're, go you're starting to hear a lot of people going, I can't do keto because. because. Right? Yeah. So today, 
we're going to talk about 10 different reasons of why either people can't do keto or why they tell you you shouldn't do keto. And what I want you to do is while we're driving, I want you to go on Instagram and put up an Instagram story and present that question to everybody that's watching this right now or that, I don't know, is looking at our Instagram stories, right? Because right. they're going to see this later. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're going to incorporate those answers in today's vlog and we'll kind of read them and if they put a video up we'll play it yeah while we're going through universal studios what do you think i think that's awesome because i bet that there are excuses that they've heard that we have not heard i'm sure okay we had to pause for a second because there was an accident yeah. but i've got the first one okay number 10 keto is too expensive oh yeah we get that all of the time because people think that we are only eating grass-fed grass-finished beef that we have to have very expensive eggs and that's the only way that you can do it. Yeah, people are always think it's expensive. And my answer to that is horse hockey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Dr. Barry says, you can do it with hot dogs and mustard. Basically what you're just trying to do is work out the carbohydrates. Right. And here's the thing, we have several videos on eating keto on a budget and we're actually going to do some more coming up soon. Uh, I'll leave a link for one of them right over my head. but. We've done keto for as little as $3 a day. You don't have to be eating grass-fed, grass-finished meat. As a matter of fact, we don't really eat that much anymore. I think the thing that we spend the most amount of money on is still our eggs. Yeah. Even though we have chickens, it's not enough eggs. But like you said, Dr. Barry says you can do it with hot dogs and mustard. You can buy ground beef for $2, $2.50 a pound. You can buy eggs for 79 cents a dozen. You can just buy some like cheap oil, you know, some mayonnaise a little bit of cheese you don't need to spend a lot of money but here's the thing people who say it's expensive are you telling me those people have never gone out and bought a starbucks drink or right. they've never gone to mcdonald's or they've never gone to five guys because that stuff definitely isn't cheap and for what the amount of food that you're gonna get for five dollars going to mcdonald's i can give you an entire day's meal with much healthier fats and much healthier proteins at half the cost of one McDonald's meal. It's just a switch in your budgeting. Yes. This is my favorite ride. It's the walking sidewalk. I love this thing. So we got up this morning. We said we were going to Universal. We asked Alexa, what is the temperature like in Orlando? She lied to us. She said it was like 72 degrees and it was going to be a high of 87 and sunny. I'm freezing. And it's cloudy. It is kind of dreary, which is good. That means you're not going to get sunburned. But it's like 68 degrees and I wore shorts and a t-shirt because Alexa told me it was going to be almost 90. Talk about something that saves money on keto. Prior to keto, every time Rachel and I came to the parks, I needed one of these. I spent a long portion of my life having to be in a wheelchair or in a you know motorized vehicle every time we came to a theme park and now for the last three years when we come I get to just walk around the entire park and I have no pain on my ankle I have no pain the next day it's awesome and I'm saving a ton of money are we really going on this we have not been on this one in a really long time because we don't have little kids anymore, but I think it's time for us to revisit it. I can remember a time when we didn't fit in this fish and we had to go with a kid because me and you could not be in the same ride together. You're gonna get soaked. So you have to listen to the song and there's a control down here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna do what it says, and if you do what it says, you get to stay dry. If you do the opposite, you get wet. Down, down, down. 
We're one fish. Stay up. So number nine is going to come from Keto with Trisha from Instagram. She says, it's so restrictive is the thing that I hear all the time. Yeah, people say all the time, like, it's a really restrictive diet. I don't understand why it's restrictive. I mean, are you saying because you can't have, you know, bread or you can't have pasta? I think about every other diet, and I feel like they are 10 times more restrictive than keto. Absolutely. Even when we are out to eat, or even at a fun park like this, we always manage to find something on the menu that we can eat. Yeah. Now, you can also look at it this way. What other diet, and we don't like to call keto a diet, we call it a lifestyle, but let's say we're going to call it a diet. What other diet still allows you to have ice cream, chocolate, bacon? Hamburgers. I mean, those are all things that pretty much any other diet is going to say, no, you absolutely cannot have any of that stuff. But there are keto options for every one of them. As you can see, here in the heart of Seuss Landing is a care of Seuss L that's truly outstanding. You might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly or even a fish made of strawberry jelly. So if you're here at Universal Studios in the Jurassic Park area, this is a great option for people who are on keto. This is the Thunder Falls Terrace. It's a beautiful eating bistro and you can get rotisserie chicken ribs without the sauce and a turkey leg. It's starting to warm up, but I think it's still too cold for this ride. What do you think? Um, let me see. Boop, boop, be doo. Well, here's the thing. Like, I personally don't want you to wear a sleep shirt, but I guess if you're gonna wear one, that is one. So, okay, do you have a number eight? Yes, too much cholesterol. Cholesterol is the excuse that a lot of people use for not going on keto. Yeah, so cholesterol is definitely something you hear a lot of, and you know, I understand, like we've all been taught that like cholesterol is bad, but the bottom line is your body needs cholesterol. It's a carrier and if you don't eat it, your body's gonna make it. But if you have a lot of questions about cholesterol, go check out some of Dr. Barry's, you know, videos and stuff. Remember, we're not doctors or nurses or anything like that. Everything we're talking about is our own personal experience and what we've read and learned. Also go check out some of Dave Feldman's stuff. So what's number seven? One excuse I hear a lot is I've got a sweet tooth and I can't just be eating Limburger liver goulash like you guys do. But the truth is, is that there are a lot of delicious sweet treats that you can have on keto and you're gonna find that your palate changes a lot. We are in the perfect location for the next suggestion of excuses that people give for not going on keto. So number six is from Lynn over on Facebook and he said, I could never give up dot, 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 dot. So I could never give up potato chips. I could never give up pasta. I could never give up candy. And we were all there at one point where you thought, well, this is gonna be something that's very difficult. Right. But magically, if you want something badly enough, like mobility or better health, you'll make it happen. Well, here's my answer to that when somebody says that. Again, if you're trying to lose weight, and most people when they're looking at keto are trying to lose weight, or even if you're trying to improve your health, no matter what eating lifestyle you start on, you have to give up something, right? You're gonna have to give up, if you want the standard American diet, you have to give up fat. That means no more prime rib, no more butter, no more bacon. Well, for me, I'd rather give up the cookies, I'd rather give up having, you know, a piece of bread with my hamburger, but eat all the bacon that I want. I'm glad that we don't have to give up flavor. What are you doing? I don't have a bottle of water, and I actually will get these Redmond Relight Sticks and eat them like a pixie stick. So these things really are good if you're like walking around in a theme park or something and you need energy, because it is, it's instant electrolytes and it's getting absorbed right under your tongue. It reminds me of those little packets of aspirin I used to take. Remember those things? Oh yeah. They came in like the little packets. What were the name of those things? I don't even remember. I, if you hadn't asked me, I would totally know it. So yeah, I used to eat these little packets of aspirin because I was always having headaches and things like that. And I would literally like put them underneath my tongue 
and it got absorbed and the headache went, around, right, went away right away. That's what this stuff is. I mean, BC powder. BC powder, there you go. So they have a couple of different flavors and I really like the sticks because having the sticks allows us to walk around a theme park and not have to carry that big tub. But if you're at home, don't use the sticks, just get the tubs. And again, our coupon works on those too. So before we get to number five, I do wanna say if you're enjoying this content, please do us a favor, take a moment, go down below and hit the like button. And also make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button and that way every single time we make another video like this, you'll be alerted to it. So number five is coming to us from Robin over on Facebook and she said, keto is unhealthy you're gonna have a heart attack. We've heard that excuse before. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into a store and somebody looks in my basket and makes a comment about the fact that I have a bunch of bacon or I have like six dozen eggs. They never said that when you had Oreos in there. Right, nobody ever complained. And here's my thing is, by what standards is keto unhealthy? So you're really gonna tell me that you feel that keto is unhealthy because I'm eating good natural animal fats, but feeding my kids like chemically processed chicken nuggets or cereals that have more sugar than grains, that's healthy, but eating bacon isn't healthy. I think it's just what they're used to. You're all smiles today. I, I, you can tell, right? Even though I have the mask on, I just love this place so much. And now we're heading into um, Amneville. So like Jaws area. I do miss the Jaws ride, but I'm glad that there's still like places here left. It looks like I found our next Fear Factor challenge. It actually looks like you're his next Fear Factor challenge. So we're sitting over here in like the restaurant section of Amity in Universal Studios, even though there really isn't an Amity ride anymore. I miss Jaws. So it goes perfect with number four, which is coming to us from Tara over on Facebook. And she said, I can't cook. Well, what you need to do is get yourself a Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm not a great cook either, and I know that probably I relied on quick meals that you could get, whether they were garbage or not, like already made casseroles that had Lord only knows what, heavy on the fake potatoes, that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, there are plenty of foods that you can eat on keto without cooking. You can go buy some hard boiled eggs if you can't boil your own eggs. You can go Sausage. buy little egg bites from places. You could buy ready-made hamburgers, or all you have to do is stick them in the microwave. Costco and BJ's in those places, they have like these really nice entrees of like pulled pork and sliced beef, all kinds of things that are like one total car per serving and they don't have any sauces in them. There's also always Buffalo Wild Wings. That's absolutely true. Or your favorite, Texas, Texas Roadhouse. Road okay, so for number three, an excuse we hear all the time is, the <laughs> Oh, you missed it. You actually missed it. Every time. Okay, so back to this. Number three was going to be the excuse that I hear all the time, which is keto is not sustainable. And eventually, we're going to have to head back down Nocturne Alley to our old way of eating. And I have to say, I'm three years into this, and there just continues to be new recipes that I have never had before that I can enjoy. It's never boring. And here's the thing, I do not want to go back to my old way of eating because I also don't want to go back to my old way of feeling. Okay, I want to add one thing to that. Okay. Is exercising for three hours a day every time you have a piece of cake sustainable? No, no it is not. Okay, so Shelly over on Facebook, she's got a really good number two. She wrote, they don't have a gallbladder, so they can't do any fats. Actually, my best friend Beth from high school does not have a gallbladder and she is keto. Yeah, she's actually in our Facebook family group, so you can always go look for her, but Dr. Barry has several videos on how to do keto, you know, without a gallbladder. You just have to make a couple little modifications, but it is absolutely possible. And our number one excuse for not going on keto comes from our friend Steph in our Facebook family group. She says, what if mommy is on keto, but daddy isn't? It can be challenging if you are doing keto and your spouse isn't, but it's not impossible. I mean, for six months, I did keto. And I did not. And we were able to make it and we didn't get a divorce. I mean, things worked out. So one of the easiest ways you can overcome that is make a main meal. So for example, you're having meatloaf. 
make the meatloaf, and then make some other sides that aren't keto for everybody else in your family. But the main bulk of the meal itself, most people are gonna have that. I don't think many people are going to turn away and say, I don't want steak. You're eating steak, but I'm not gonna have any. Exactly, and I mean, it is going to take some discipline not to eat that extra side dish, but I think that everything takes discipline. I mean, just sticking to any plan that you have for yourself takes a certain measure of you just saying like, this is important to me, I wanna get healthy, and it's worth this extra effort to say no. Yeah, well, We've been resting here while we have our mask off. We have a safe zone where we're allowed to sit without a mask. I wanna go on one or two more rides and then we've got a bonus one, but we've gotta to get to the spot for the bonus one. So make sure you keep watching because the bonus one is a really, really good one. Where are we going? We're going to ET because it is one of my favorite rides here, even though I know, I know it's not the coolest ride, but it's cool to me. I love the smell of this ride. So do you ever notice that every time we sit down to try to shoot a part of our video, they start making announcements? Yes. It's very aggravating. Like you would think that they know the two crazy ketos are trying to film a video and they're disturbing us. Wow. Mr. Self-Centered much? <laughs> okay, so we have an honorable mention before we get to our bonus one. And this is a really good one. And it just happened to come through after we got number one. But this is one I have personally heard, not only about like why somebody can't do it, but also why I need to stop doing it. Yes. And this one is from our friend Heath, hey, Heath. over on Facebook. And he said, I had a friend send me this message. Please be careful with keto. Actually, she didn't put please in there, but. It isn't something that should be done long term and literally every single person I know who has done keto eventually went off of it and gained even more weight than when they started the diet. I'm not trying to troll you, I'm genuinely concerned. Really? Were you concerned like when we were eating cookies and ice cream and candy? Right. She said, I am really happy about your progress and your enthusiasm for health. He said, I told her I have no plan to stop eating the proper human diet and she hasn't contacted me since. Yeah, sometimes you might have to just be willing to let a couple of relationships go. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. And again, like I said, like, were they concerned when we were not eating the proper human diet? When we were like eating tons of candy and ice cream and buying like 50 packages of cookies at a time? Right. I just, I, sometimes I don't understand people's logic with that, but I can't tell you how many times people said to me, you're gonna gain all the weight back. But isn't that the case with every diet you go on? Yeah, well, I mean, if it's a fad diet, and I think that's what they're trying to do is compartmentalize it like it's a fad diet. But right. this is not a diet because you've changed fuel sources. That's right. a hard thing for people to think of. You know, people think you need carbohydrates, but there's actually two ways that you can fuel your body. You can fuel your body with carbohydrates like the sad American diet, or you can fuel your body with fat. Yeah. I mean, when you look at any kind of diet, that what is a diet? A diet is I'm going to eat differently to lose weight. This we're, We live a lifestyle, not a diet, but a diet is I'm going to change what I'm eating in order to lose weight. Here's the problem. Unless you address the issue of why you were fat to begin with, as soon as you stop eating that diet, whether it be eating a bunch of salads or going to the gym for five hours a day. As soon as you stop, that weight's coming back on. That's why it's called a yo-yo diet. Okay, I just have to say this for the record. Okay. I beat you for the fourth time in a row on Men in Black. Okay, now before we get to the bonus one, I do wanna say, if you like videos like this, these like top five, top 10 countdowns, then make sure you hit that like button down below because that's gonna tell us that you wanna see more videos like this one. Now on to the bonus one. And this is a really good one because we're actually sitting right now in City Walk of Universal Studios. With tons of restaurants all around us. Yeah, do you have places like Moe's, there's Bubba Gum Shrimp, there is the NBC restaurant. Margaritaville. Yeah, all kinds of things. And I think one of the things that we hear a lot is 
you can't be social on keto. Like you can't go out to eat with your friends on keto. Yeah, people are afraid of being like the workplace weirdo yep. that can't go out to lunch with anybody because they're keto. Yeah, now we just spent an entire day here at Universal Studios and every one of the food places, whether you were inside of the park and they have just like those little quick fast food burgers or coming out here, which is where we like to eat, every one of them you could make keto. Now some of them, a little bit easier than others. Right. But I'm gonna tell you, there is not a cuisine that I know of that you cannot make keto. What about Mexican? Easy, fajitas. What about Italian? Now Italian is a tough one, but I'll give you one. Chicken carbonara, that is super keto. Wow, so I think those are two of the toughest ones yeah. to make keto, but it's possible. It's absolutely possible to go to almost any restaurant and have keto. And here's the thing, if for some reason you can't, here's the beauty of keto. It's not your last meal, and it's easier to skip a meal when you are on keto. Plus, you can either eat before or afterwards. Absolutely. Well, that's going to be today's not eating vlog on keto. Thanks for going to Universal Studios with us. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of our normal full day of eating videos, which we're going to link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we go someplace, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.